it's a little bit longer, okay, because it's a little bit longer and it's a little more weighted, there's more of a, a force output, more of a load on the body, okay, which again, we like to play around with the different bars with different force outputs. So the advantage of this is we're, it's going to feel longer, more elongated, more force outputs, different rhythm, timing, tempo, and you're going to have to have even more stability through your body to, to handle these loads and forces. So not something you would start with, let's say with your junior golfer, but for your stronger athletes, uh, like this is my favorite tool to train with, okay? So I'll start like we did with a lot of the other ones, okay? We'll go, we'll just rehearse back swings at first. Load, okay, I'll make three to five of these, each one a little bit longer, right? Working this lead shoulder down. Now pay attention to this, a lot of your students are gonna go ahead and flatten out, okay? I want this lead shoulder, essentially I want you to, if we're gonna break it down step by step, shift, okay? We're then gonna push our hip back or our pocket back straighten that leg that's fine don't lock it out but it can it can move back and then in conjunction with that this left shoulder goes straight down okay and again here we can over exaggerate as high as we can shoulder as low as we can in our tip and in our posture okay we'll do a couple range of motion swings we'll do a couple heaves step heave it back heave it back high hands Again, when I'm heaving, I'm feeling like I'm putting additional force into the turf this way to accelerate my hands up that way. Okay, and then I'm gonna make a couple where I do that lead side stretch where I shift, turn, and then try to take my left hand to my right hand as much as I can. And that's that big stretch and that thoracic extension that everybody talks about to generate power. Okay, from here, all right, we're gonna do a trail side. All right, I'm gonna make these waves out in front this way, okay? One of the big elements of ground force in the golf swing is the lateral component. I've gotta get off my trail side into my lead side and then off of my lead side back into my trail to generate power, okay? So we're rapidly changing directions here. Okay, I wanna start nice and slow, okay? And then we're gonna generate more and more force and get this bar going faster and faster. My timing on this <coughs> is generally gonna be 15 to 20 seconds. Start slow and control, start to see that weight up front. All right, and add more and more force as we go along. All right, and we really want that bar to kick. Now, as I'm doing that, I'm getting tighter and tighter and more and more of a tuck, more engagement with my core and a more forceful lateral movement pattern. Notice my knees are inside here. They're not swaying this way and this way. My weight gets outside of my, my feet. Okay, I'm gonna fall on my face. Some of your students are gonna do that, right? And it's gonna pull them that way. So this forces you to stay on the inside and be able to rapidly change direction and tap into those louder, lateral forces. All right, from here, <coughs> These exercises are gonna be the same we did with a single bar, or similar. We're gonna start with that P5, P6 pump. All right, and a lot heavier implement. So we're gonna to have to be more intentional about the load. All right, if the effective force with the multi-stick was 70 pounds, this feels like 135 pounds. Now it's probably way more, but it's just a heavier load. All right, I'll do about 10 to 15 of these just with this little pulse. All right, now I'll go to impact pulse. Again, getting this lead side out of the way, putting the brakes on to make this rebound here. And now I'll go release pulse. All right, if you kind of lack the strength to do that, you need a little help, you can pin it this way. And that takes a little load off of this lead elbow, okay? So we did the pulse movements, P5, P6, impact and release. Now we'll do the pump drill, which this is absolutely 100% my favorite drill with any of these to do from a force production standpoint. Big turn, pump, pump, pump. And again, as I explained in the previous video, everybody in golf wants to rotate so early. They wanna do this. All right, that's gonna, pull you that way, rotating that, er that early and not getting back to the lead side causes golfers to be steep. 
I'd say 85% of golfers get to the trail side and then try to rotate because they're too steep. Where we got them proficient with this, being able to go here, pump it down and put the brakes on. Now here, they're in a position, now they can rotate as hard as they want and everything's on plane and tracking down the line, right? So this is a super, super important drill. And it's one that you're gonna see a ton of guys at the professional level do with a golf club. It's that pump drill, right? And again, if you're my target line, I'm going that way. All right, so a little counter rotation because now I'm set up to be able to really fire down the line. Okay, so I went that P5-6 position. Now I'll go impact. And I really, really got to put the brakes on to make that stop, obviously. This will be a struggle at first. You'll get better at it as you learn to use the ground better. Okay, now we'll go release. And there's really a sequencing element to this as well. Better we get with this, get a golf club in our hands. And it's gonna feel, our sequencing, everything's gonna feel more athletic and more on point. I will end with that drag and throw. Drag and throw. One more. Drag and throw. All right, never more than 10 of any of these. Five to seven rep range is usually what I like, right? So that's that same kind of series. We change the load, we change the implement. That's gonna really get you on the pathway to using the ground better, being able to apply force from the ground into the club, leaving a nice indent into that turf and creating more club head speed.